<clears throat> it's the next morning. There's frosticles on the boards. <sighs> For some reason, my wrist hurts. I never banged it yesterday or nothing, but man, does it hurt. It started hurting last night. Chicken's already shit on the thing. And so I'm using, this mill comes with an inch and a quarter blade. Now I bought some inch and a half blades because they say it can. Well, <laughs> to compound matters, I knew that I was having issues with the inch and a quarter blade with this unit completely and utterly from day one. Um, things are just not right. I think I was under the impression this was a four post, which would make it more rigid, right? Well, when I engage that pulley system, it jars this thing. It's wobble, wobble. So I don't know. I might have to get into checking all four of them feet again. And, um... It seems to me that there was a lot of nuts and bolts that were not tightened on here. And that is the cause of all my issues. Now, I'm a tyro, so to say. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever milled anything. Well, not completely true. Personally milled anything is true. But there's an old school big wheel saw, 52 inch or something, out where I used to live. And I went there, you know, quite a few times. And I actually cut a beam for a church steeple and put that on. Seven, seven heads of scaffolding tall. <laughs> and it was sketchy, so I went and got a boom lift and yada yada. But anyways, I'm making it happen. I'm not real good with setbacks. My personality sucks for that type of thing, but we're going to slowly uh, get it together. We might do a few circles in the meantime, but it's cutting lumber. That's the main thing. No, it's not very great. I mean, it's better than I could do with a chainsaw for sure, but I mean, it's not perfect. My cans are a little out of square and and I'm really fighting the fighting these blades the whole way i mean i'll get a good day or two and then i gotta stop and like what is this no this thing makes oddball noises like i'm used to things running smooth like a skill saw you run it through the board every video i watch it's always you you probably on my videos it sounds nice and smooth but when you got your hands on this thing and you're feeling it out and you're running it down the track you can tell when it's running good and when it's running bad. Just a mechanical thing that people get when they're used to mechanical things. And I would say this thing is 65, maybe 70%. I'll dial it in. I'm just really sad that they didn't take this thing on a lumber cut at least one log before they sent it out. I think that would alleviate alleviate a hundred percent of the issues. But wish in one hand, want in the other. See what one gets fuller faster. Right. The first thing I gotta do besides monkey with that disaster is I need another post in here. So this mill stops right here, which means I need a post right about uh where the blade stops so right here okay now let me go get my thingamajiggy doohickey so you guys can have a place to sit and ah uh, i'll be slowly, right back slowly 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 so we got to put a beam in here so we're probably going to end up putting a couple in So either so 18 is there, 19, 20, 21 and a half. Hey. Thank you. 
make it 22. I'm going to try to get better at describing what I do. Problem is that takes up time. Time is valuable to everyone, whether they believe it or not. So I can only cut 18 foot beams. And actually that beam is 18 foot one inch. All four of them. Ay, ay, ay. So I got to either make two triangle brackets and I got the right material to do it. I'll make two triangle brackets. I thought about just doing one, but we got to make up almost four foot. So if I put an extension on this thing, we'll be sticking out the wall, but I don't care about that because that's garbage anyway. Now, if I want to be just on the other side of this guy that I didn't really uh, notice before and we're in the plane of this wall, barely. So if I build right here, that we got to make up four foot then. So do I make two L brackets just under four foot? Two L brackets that are two foot triangles and then we hang them on that post in that post down there and then we could set that 22 foot well the 18 foot beam could get set on there and be carried and then i could crutch up to make up the rest sounds a little janky but i think it will work because of the angle iron well not angle iron but i got c channel big thick c channel that i can weld that out of so i think this morning what i'm going to do is go in the shop I'll weld up two triangles, two foot, or a square two foot by two foot, and cut it in half, basically. So I got two triangles to carry the weight. Because them can get lagged in, and that will, you know, I can actually notch out the beam on either end to help hold that so it can never settle. So let's go make, so that's how my day is gonna start. We got no water again over at the house. Oh, I don't know, guys. God's beat me up for all the bad things I did. Hang in there. We'll be back. Maybe you guys want to see this a little bit, but I'll try to set it up here. <laughs> Maybe. I don't have my thingamajiggy doohickey. So. All right, we got our metal cut. We got all the things cut off it. And with that plasma cutter, I was able to get that 5 8 weld and bar off there. Gouge it up pretty good, but we don't care. This is the part that's going to help us on both sides. So, and see it's cut in the middle, but we don't care about that because we're going for quick, cheap, uh, I don't like that very much, but we'll see. All right, guys, so this is what we're coming up with. Just got to get it finished welding and go put them up.